Bharat Forge is expecting a contract for 307 at Eggstone Howitzers to be signed in current financial year, while technical process and evaluation trials of Atag's mounted gun system will start in 2025, and orders are expected in 2027. External Affairs Minister has said, that India will continue to support Mauritius to reclaim the British-administered Chagos Islands. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has signed a 840 crore rupees contract with National Centre for Polar and Ocean Research, for the construction and delivery of an ocean research vessel. Indian Army officers briefed the Mongolian Army on the switch UAV and MR-20 cargo drone during exercise Nomadic Elephant 2024. SSS Defence has announced the development of indigenous suppressors, that offers reduced noise signature, improved flash suppression and reduced recoil. The Indian Navy's Naval Tactical Evaluation Group has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Indian Institute of Technology Bombay to enhance warfighting capabilities using applied artificial intelligence. Brahmos Aerospace will supply afterburner liner assembly with tooling and fixtures for 80 kN engine program of DRDO's gas turbine research establishment. The 80 kN engine will be lighter than the existing afterburning cavalry engine, that will be tested on Tejas aircraft in later phases. GTRE is also procuring 450 low-pressure turbine rotor blades and 150 vanes LPT sub-assemblies, marking a crucial stage in the engine's development, that will feature an afterburner module for enhanced thrust. Once operational, the cavalry engine is expected to generate an impressive 52 kN of dry thrust and 80 kN of wet thrust, which rivals the 84 kN American F-404 engines currently powering the Tejas Mark 1A aircraft. India and Russia will sign an agreement for in-country maintenance and repair of the S-400 air defense systems in the coming two months. This agreement will involve a joint venture between an Indian company and Russia's Fakal Machine Building Design Bureau, and under the first phase of the agreement, the foreign partner will provide crucial technical assistance to the Indian company in establishing the necessary infrastructure for local S-400 maintenance. The second phase of the agreement involves laying the groundwork for the production of essential S-400 parts within India with transfer of technology. As per latest media reports, the six next-generation submarines to be built under Project 75I, will be the first to be equipped with at least six indigenously developed submarine-launched cruise missiles, that have already been tested successfully multiple times from submarines torpedo tubes, validating an impressive range of 500 kilometers. Work is already underway on a new SLCM variant with an extended range of 800 km, and it could either be a stretched version of the existing missile, or an entirely new missile system. The DRDO is seeking an innovative Indian startup to develop a next-generation underwater-launched autonomous underwater vehicle, that can be deployed from underwater platforms for ISR operations, mine countermeasures, and deception operations. The ULAV needs to stay operational for at least 24 hours while cruising, must feature silent power for maintaining stealth during operations, an inertial navigation system and differential GPS with anti-jamming features, and sensors to detect both surface and subsurface contacts, and also transmit the gathered information to other underwater platforms using an acoustic communication link. Today's top 3 comments.